Hey everybody, this is Anders Johnson and today I'm going to talk about auto translation in Google Chrome. Now, there are many different websites on the internet and some of them are going to be in different languages. But the cool thing about Google Chrome is that in their web store, they have a number of free extensions that enable us to look at any website we want to in our default language. In this case, today we're going to do English. So I've opened up a new tab in Google Chrome and I'm going to navigate to the Chrome web store. So I can easily just type in Chrome web store. And I'm going to click on the first result that I get. It's chrome.google.com slash web store. And that's going to come up with all the different applications and extensions that you can get for Google Chrome's web browser. <clears throat> and that's going to come up with all the different extensions that you can get in Google Chrome. Now on the left side here, you can click search the store and click auto translate. A number of applications are going to appear. The first is called auto translate, just like we searched. Now, this is a great little application if you run into certain words that you don't know, say if you're trying to learn a language. When you mouse over them, say if I were to mouse over automatically here, and it was in Spanish, it would automatically translate that word into English, which can be super useful. And that will work across any web page that you use this with. It's easy, just click Add to Chrome. In this case, we're going to translate entire websites today. So we'll go to Google Translate. It's by the Google team, so you can absolutely trust it, and it's going to work the best with Google Chrome. Now, just click Add to Chrome, and a dialog will pop up asking if you want to add this application. Now, it will be looking at all of the data that you look at, of course, because it's translating it, and it's going to have access to all of your tabs and your browsing activity. So if you're not interested in allowing this application to do that, um, then click Cancel. In this case, it's automatically translating and it's not recording that information that you're looking at, so I really wouldn't worry about privacy. Let's click on Add. And then we're going to see that Google Translate has been added to Chrome. We can easily modify settings by clicking on this button up on the upper right hand side here. Just right click it or uh, two finger click it and click on Google Translate. This will drop us out at, at the main page for Google Translate and we can get details on it, we can learn a little bit more about it, all that kind of stuff. But in this case, um, we really don't need to uh, look at that anymore. We have it on our computer. So let's go to Google and we can type in uh, Spanish Dictionary. We're just going to test it out real quick. Now here's uh, SpanishDictionary.com or SpanishDICT.com and that will drop us right out here. We're going to search uh, the Spanish Dictionary for automatically. And when that comes up, we can see it in both the English and the Spanish versions. So let's go up to our Google Translate application. And when we left click on this, as this little dialog that just popped up says, it'll translate the page. So we should see these words in Spanish right here translate into English. So we're going to click it. Now it'll ask us, translate, and we want to view this page finally in English. And you can select from a number of different languages. So we're going to click translate. See? Spanish of automatically has automatically become the word automatically. My name's Anders, and today we talked about automatically translating different languages in Google Chrome to English, or whatever language you'd like to translate them into.